Hey, what's up, y'all? In case you're new around here... <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I always get rusty with this whenever I take time off from making videos. Alright. Hey, what's up, y'all? In case you're new around here, my name's Sean, and welcome to the channel. Today's video is for all of you pre-med students out there. So I'm going to give you the number one piece of advice I think you guys should know and have as a pre-med student. And make sure you stick all the way to the end of the video. I'll throw in one more bonus tip just for fun. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right. So the number one piece of advice I have for you is to make sure that you do a major and that you study something that you're passionate about or at least semi-interested in. So I'm going to explain how my experience led me to this and then I'll make sure to elaborate more on it. All right, so I graduated high school already knowing that I wanted to become a doctor. So I went in and sat down with my advisor, not knowing anything about the classes or the requirements I needed to get into medical school. And of course, they put me on the traditional path, straight up doing a biology degree all the way through. And I, a nervous freshman, just took it in and just stuck with the plans stuck to the status quo. So the first year went by and everything went smoothly and fine. But sitting down with my advisor again and just seeing how my classes and my schedule would be for my junior and my senior year upperclassmen, I saw that I was going to be taking so many science classes. And don't get me wrong, I love science, but what I love most is the human body. And I absolutely hated the parts of biology that would deal with plants and animals. I'm like, this stuff is so irrelevant to what I need to know as a doctor in the future. So I wanted nothing to do with it. And I was going to be taking classes solely dedicated to those subjects, like um, ecology, invertebrates, all these things. Was, ugh, I was just not looking forward to it. And I was just dreading my junior and senior year. And that's whenever I came to the realization, I don't want to do biology. I don't like this. <laughs> this isn't for me. I'm not passionate about it. And so I tried to switch to nursing because, of course, that's related to the human body and I would get my hands-on experience with patients and everything like that. But I wasn't able to get into that program in my school. It would have been too late and I would have not graduated within four years. So. I completely threw a curveball at my parents and I decided to switch to business. I kind of eased my parents into the idea of business by first saying that I was only going to do a minor. So I just did one class that first semester and during Christmas break, I made the complete switch and fully committed to doing business. Choosing to study business was the best decision I made in undergrad because oh, it was just so chill. But it's not just because it was an easy degree by any means. It was just the exposure to different teachers and different classmates and different styles of learning that just absolutely enriched my education. <sighs> so, of course, I began looking up online the different classes I needed to take for my prerequisites to get into medical school in Texas. So, of course, I still took all of my science classes and also all of my business classes. So it was really nice because with science, you're completely on your own. Your grades, everything is solely on you. It's a completely independent learning experience. There's hardly ever group projects or things like that. But with business, it is so collaborative. A lot of teamwork, a lot of group projects that ended up being individual effort because, you know, I'm anal, so I gotta go for that A. <laughs> If you want something done right, you do it yourself, you know? So, yeah. But anyways, I had my friends from science and I had my friends from business and it was so nice because I even got to become a tutor for chemistry and also for business with productions and operations and different things like that. Learned so many new skills. Um, I am so proficient in Excel now, which, I don't know, is, is a nice thing. It, it is a plus. But... <laughs> But it's so nice. I have such a great relationship with my business department in the school that I went to. And I know I'm going to be keeping up those relationships um, all throughout my career. And they're so nice. They always ask me how I'm doing and they want to keep up with my progress and things like that. And yeah, I mean, it was just such a great decision. 
And I think studying business was a huge plus whenever I applied for medical school because you really want to stand out as an applicant. And I'm telling you, the great majority of people applying for medical school have done biology or biochemistry, um, any type of science. So if you can break free from that and you're not put into that category, it's not a really like a huge deal, but um, medical schools like to say that they have variety within their classroom in terms of, of course, gender, um, race, ethnicity, and with the majors, different things like that. It's all about diversity, right? And also with all the teamwork and group collaborative activities that I did in business, um, that gave me a lot of speaking points that I could use with interviews and different things like that. And that's kind of the direction that medicine is going because you have to be a leader within your interdisciplinary just kind of team. So it really helps out. We're all about team building and all that stuff right now in medical school. So I see that it has really helped me out and just given me a kind of a leg up in that. Okay, so that's my experience behind this piece of advice. I hope it helps you. Again, in summary, it is to do whatever you're passionate and interested in. So if you're interested in science, go ahead and study it. You just have to make sure that whatever you study in undergrad is something that you're just so excited to do in the morning and something that will bring you joy and excitement. <sighs> because honestly, whenever you're in medical school, you're going to dedicate your whole life to science and to medicine and to taking care of others already. So I'm glad that I was able to do something completely apart from that. I'm really glad that I was able to explore the world of business, but now I get to just 100% just dedicate myself to medicine and to my studies there. But I know that my background in business will help out big time if I ever want to start my own practice or do something along those lines in the future. Um, man, there was something I wanted to say. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, by no means does studying a different major put you at a disadvantage whenever you're in medical school. Nah, I cannot stress this enough. Whenever you're in medical school, you study things so intensely right then and there that it doesn't matter if you had seen that topic beforehand or not, honestly. It might help you a little bit and it'll be kind of comforting if it's at least semi-familiar, but you do not go as in depth with these things as you do in undergrad or different things like that. So do not worry about being at a disadvantage when it comes to classes or anything down the line. Trust me, I did just straight up business. I did the very bare minimum requirements for medical school and I'm still competing and having fun playing and studying at the level as all of my other classmates who've done neuroscience, biochemistry, biology. Other people have masters in these subjects, so it's pretty crazy, but I'm, I'm still there trying to study and compete at that level, and I'm having a blast doing it. <laughs> all right, so bonus tip. Oh my goodness, this room looks so much better than my room. My room looks like a little kid's room. This, this is like a grown-up. So the bonus tip is, don't worry about the MCAT, don't stress about it, don't think about it until you have taken all the classes necessary, all the prerequisites for the MCAT. Oh, where do I begin with this? Man, whenever I graduated high school, in that summer between high school and my freshman year of college, my dad gave me a book of how to study for the MCAT, how to be pre-med, all these things. He was on my ass from the very beginning. Sean, you need to study for the MCAT. You need to take practice questions. You need to get ready. And oh man, I completely pushed him aside. I was like, nah, I don't wanna do it. And I would, t from time to time, try to do some practice questions or do a practice test here and there. And man, I absolutely knew nothing because I hadn't taken several of these classes, but it gave me such a huge panic attack and I was like, oh my God, like the MCAT is impossible. I'm never gonna be able to pass this test. It is so hard. I can barely get one question right and it's absolute guesswork that I'm doing. Please save yourself the stress. Don't go ahead and have an aneurysm, a heart attack, anything. Please 
Oh, I cannot stress it enough. Just don't worry about it. Me, I made it into medical school and to say that I procrastinated with the MCAT would be an understatement. I started studying uh, like two months before I took the MCAT. Ooh, and that's all I needed to, to make it in. Other people, I'm sure, studied more and did better than me, but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, this is her room, it's super nice. Okay, don't Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, quiet on the set. Bye. All right, so just so I have some credibility and give you guys some background information, I scored a 516 on the MCAT. That corresponds to the 95th percentile. So me telling you guys not to worry about the MCAT, you can take that rest assured that you can score just as fine, just as well as me, better. Just don't worry about the MCAT right now, all right? Enjoy undergrad. Because once you're in medical school, trust me, I'm still having fun. I'm having the time of my life here. But the amount of freedom and just the free time is just unparalleled. So you have to take advantage of that place and time that you're in in your life. It's something so special and amazing. And you're going to look back on it. And just all the great memories will push you through medical school whenever you're just not having fun, just grinding away in the library. So, yeah, those are my tips. Sorry, guys, I keep forgetting to include these things. But anyways, I will be sharing my MCAT experience and giving more tips about how we study for the MCAT in the future. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you for sticking it all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you are new around here, please, please, please subscribe for new content every two, three, four, five weeks. I don't know. And thank you. <laughs> Man, I haven't done this in a long time. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> no, that's not it. All right. And as always, do whatever the hell you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. But I hope I see you in another video. Peace out, y'all.